Musicians Institute Guitar Craft Program, sponsor of Fox 17 Rock and Review. Behind an old oak door, in a seldom open drawer, was a faded ribbon and a shining star. There was a sense of pride on my daddy's side. Because he went away to war And you have to buy the record to hear the rest of it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that is Gary Morris. You know, uh, five number one hits, uh, 25 hits on Billboard, singer, songwriter, actor, and also TV host from your, uh, from your outdoor show. North American Sportsman which, back in which, the day. Which I remember <laughs> so well. You know, it's so funny having you on here. I'm like, oh, and I remember watching your show, and you said people still stop you and go, hey, Gary, are, are, you, are you still doing the show? Yeah, or do you still shoot the longbow? Or uh, my favorite show? <laughs> was the Buffalo show, <laughs> you know, it's really cool. Well, you know, and you and I were talking to Gary, before we came down to the studio, that back in the day when you were doing that, it was really ahead of its time. Now it's commonplace for, for so many country artists, you know, being out hunting, fishing, and everything like that. But when you were doing it, it was kind of unheard of. Oh, Warner Brothers told me, he said, don't let anybody know you hunt. You know, I didn't know Warner Brothers at the time was part of the witness protection program <laughs> for artists. But... <laughs> But I said, well, how are they not going to know? Because, see, starting in September, I'm going to be in the woods somewhere hunting through, right. through the end of the year. But, no, it was a no-no. And, and, you know, there was a lot of uh, animal uh, rights protest. And right. I happen to be one. Of, this will piss a lot of people off. I'm, I happen to be one that believes that animals have no rights, that <laughs> people have responsibilities. And there's a big difference right. to me. So. Right. So anyway, I've done a bunch of stuff for the different Tennessee wildlife. Oh, yeah. And, well, and Texas. I wanted to bring up, too, you know, we're going to talk about your new album, Sense of Pride. But, uh, you know, you went from the White House to Warner Brothers. Yeah. <laughs> You've done your homework. <laughs> That's not a bad little run, is it? Well, you know, I was Carter's opening act. I, I know. Did about 80 performances and played the inauguration. And then he invited me to the White House on CMA night. <laughs> you had Conway and Loretta and Tom T. Hall and Gatlin was there. They were a bunch of people. And then, you know, that we sang, or they sang, we ate, and then he came back in for a guitar pool. Yeah. And he said, all right, now I'd like to introduce my favorite singer. And I'm thinking, oh, no, you're not going to do that. And he invited me up, and I sang a couple of songs. One of them, a Gatlin song, Penny Annie. Yeah. And uh, then my phone started ringing. And you were kind of discovered after that. I was. <laughs> I got a call. And here's how, is this, this is how flipped it all worked. I got right. a call. Please come out, MCA, we want to sign you. I came out and did four songs, sent me back to Colorado, and, and they said, we'll send you a contract. In two weeks, they called and said, there's a new guy that has just taken over MCA, a guy named Jimmy Bowen, <laughs> and he's canceling all contracts. Wow. So I didn't get it, and then I came back a couple years later and met Noro. Mm -hmm. He signed me, and then Bowen took over Warner Brothers. Right. And Bowen was a co-producer on Wind Beneath My Wings. Oh, my gosh. So it's like the big yeah. full circle. Yeah, yeah, kind of a hit for you. I mean, you know, and, and you also look at, Gary, you know, when you won the first talent show with your sister back in the day <laughs> with this old house, and then taking that. <laughs> you know, this old house once knew my children. This old house once knew my... I was sitting I just on a wanna, bale of hay. I just want to say for the record, you won the talent show with your sister. Yeah. And so you went from that to the White House, and then now. Yeah. And now unemployed singer-songwriter. <laughs> with a great new album, Sense of Pride. And uh, it's so funny, Gary. You know, I've spent a lot of time with this album. And I've loved all your hits. And remember your TV show. Uh -huh. We did such a great job on air. And, and this, this album, to me, uh, really speaks to me in, with the songwriting, hearing your guitar playing. And you worked with uh, Michael Bonagura on it. Mm -hmm. Michael and Kathy sang on it. And Alyssa, his daughter. Oh, my goodness. Uh, it was like a voice of an angel on a cut, Where Were You? And so, so Where Were You, I only sang one time. It was on Ralph Emery's show years ago, and I started getting requests for it in concert this last year. And I said, where, to the audience, where did you hear it? They said, it's on YouTube. <laughs> where Were You? And it's Delta Burke going, and now let me, and he, let's listen to that big hug of man, Gary Morris. And I sing, Where Were You? So now I recorded it, and Alyssa sang with me, and it's like the voice it of It sounds an angel. amazing, and I'll tell you what, also on this album, what you're going to want to buy, you can go to Gary's site and, and order it, and, and you can also, when you see him live on concert, he'll be touring everywhere this year, but uh, Jennifer Dreams. 
I just, I really like the guitar work, and you're using your breed loves, which you've been playing for a while now, <laughs> and with your Myrtle Wood here, and you've got, what, five or six of these? Yeah, I got five of them. They're, I, you know, I, I'm not going to do a commercial for them, but they're the best guitar <laughs> Uh, I, I you know, just, just, just hearing you play this thing, you know, and, and it's even on the cover of the album and the back of the album. And, uh, wow. This particular tonality. guitar. And, you know, it's funny. If you're a guitar player and you know that you're a guitar player, it's how the neck fits your hand. Oh, totally. And, and these just work for me. And I played Taylor's forever. Mm -hmm. Taylor's are great guitar. I played Gibson's. I played oh, yeah. Martin's. I played all of them. But, but this just works for me. Well, you know, the musically, the songs on here, you know, it, it's just a depth. And you and I were talking before we came in studio. I think you're probably going to need to put it out on vinyl because you can really, you, like you and I were talking, being players, I can hear your fingers on the strings, Gary. I think you convinced me. I'd been toying around with it. In fact, I talked to Michael about it. I said, maybe we should do this in vinyl. And um, I, I think as I, when I leave today, I'm going to make the call and say, let's go ahead and do 500 of them and see if there's actually well, a market for Also, it. i got to know, Gary, how does your voice keep sounding better? I took 20 years off. <laughs> Is that just a 20-year rest? Well, and I kind of got and fired. And then your voice sounds like this? <laughs> Country Radio decided to not play me after Les Mis, so I thought decided I'd do something else. And it was because I started listening to Country radio again and watched an award show, I thought, you know what, maybe it's time that I could go back out and sing melodies and lyrics and there'd be an audience. And I'm finding there is. I love Sold it. out audiences all over the country and, yeah. and a huge tour in 2019. But I also want to bring up something, Gary, you know, and, and you're so humble about this, is your charity work. Um, you well, know, with, with the Abilene Fly Fishermen and, right. and you know, um, you do a lot of good work. You are their representative. I, I, I get a chance at uh, this stage, you know, uh, 70 is the new 90 miles per hour. <laughs> and uh, I get a chance to, like, turn around and help some people. And uh, I've always done a lot of stuff for the military. I've done mm -hmm. tours overseas and everything. But now I have a river at my ranch, Mountain Spirit, in Colorado. And we bring vets out and put them in the river and feed them and fly fish with them and the healing powers of moving water is indisputable and we have a good time and, and one of the coolest things that I have right now is four guys who came out came to a Christmas show that I did the following year and brought me a flag encased in a you know a glass case that had been to Iraq Afghanistan this flag had it was a folded flag it's on the mantle in my lodge oh my gosh so uh, you know they give back to me right I have a chance to give them something and and if there's any doubt that we owe our military for the very freedom we have, it needs to go away, that doubt does. Right. I, and I think you prove it uh, in your actions and in your music. And uh, the, the album, Sense of Pride, is just so much fun to listen to. You know, hearing you again, you know, you and I were kidding. It's like, you know, I remember when you were having all the number one hits and you were all over the radio and all over the TV. And it's really nice to see you back at it. Well, you know, it's really funny. When you're doing it, you don't realize what's going on. <laughs> right. It's after the fact. And the letters I get now from people that say, uh, you helped me during this time with some of your music back 30 years ago, and I'm so glad you're out singing again. It's like, well, I'm glad to be out singing again, too. I really, really love what I do. And I have a chance to ask. I know who my audience is. It's 40 plus, but now 40 plus is starting to bring their kids and their grandkids. Sure. And I, I'll get a nine-year-old sitting on the third row who says, sing Velvet Change. I says, you don't know it, Velvet. <laughs> says, oh, yes, I do. We'll sing part of it. Uh, Velvet Change. It's like. Yeah, oh. they're singing back Why Lady Why to you, and you're going, huh? Yeah, because their parents or their grandparents turned them, and then right. so it's a cool thing. But here's the thing, too, Gary, and I think, and, and we were talking about it, you know, with, with the Americana music and everything else. Great songs and great artists, I think, still hold up. And I think yeah. there's still a place, and I think that, that, that listeners will always find those. And when you come out with something new like this, with sense of pride that you really pour your heart into, people know it. You know, you're not, it's not just like you're on your, the reunion tour or something. Oh, you're no. bringing new music, and you're putting new love and passion behind it, and I think it shows in the album. Well, thanks. I, I... People, a lot of people don't realize I signed with Warner Brothers Music as a writer before I signed with Warner Brothers Records. And uh, not that I have... After the little stuff at the White House. Yeah, after the little stuff at the White House. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was, they were really after me. 
They, I, I think I got a six thousand dollar signing bonus, uh, which. But know. everybody saw you. Yeah. I it mean, you know, you, yeah, it's one of those nights to yeah. where it's like, okay, well, there Can't you are. Blame it. Well, I've I've actually performed for every president up to our current president. I wow. played for every one of them at the White House uh, or inaugurations and. For senior, you know, who we just lost, I right. played probably 20 times. Wow, so and, amazing, Gary. Yeah, he, well, it was a, an amazing time, and I'm just lucky and blessed. I, I'm glad you've come out of uh, retirement and are back making music and touring. Well, thank you. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to the new TV show coming out too. But uh, in the meantime, <laughs> where's the best place for our viewers to, uh, you know, be sure they can order the album, get it signed? Uh, go to your website. Yeah, go to GaryMorris.com, or you can find me in uh, in most of your towns, in your Holiday Inn parking lots. I'll have some in the <laughs> back of my truck. And, and you'll sign them there. I sign them. I got. Yeah. I've got markers. Yeah. Well, and I also want to bring up to our viewers, if you're planning on seeing Gary on tour in 2019, get your tickets early. The shows are selling out for obvious reasons, uh, you know, with all the hits from the past, but also with this brand new album, Sense of Pride. And uh, I think you definitely have a sense of pride about this music, and it shows, Gary. Th thank you very much, man. Thanks for having get me. Get a copy. Gary Morris, 2019. Thanks for watching The Rock and Review. Musicians Institute Guitar Craft Program, sponsor of Fox 17 Rock and Review.